Welcome back. So I know it's been a while since I posted. I'm going to try and make up for it with this video here, which I believe a lot of you are going to find really cool. So what I have here is a energy discharge capacitor rated at 20,000 volts, 15 microfarads and 3,000 joules. And just for a size comparison, I have a microwave oven capacitor and just a little electrolytic capacitor. I'm going to be attempting to power it with a um, Tesla coil power supply, which I built here. It's just a flybic transformer, which is driven by a ZDS driver. And yeah, I'm gonna be just doing a few experiments with it. If you have any uh, cool projects I can do with it, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video over it. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so I have the first test set up and a lot of you already know what's going on here, but I'm gonna be attempting to launch this aluminum can with the capacitor. And based on how this works, the capacitor should charge up and discharge through this spark gap and into this coil of wire, which induces a electromagnetic field on this can the coil of wire, which is a repulsive field, and it should launch the can in the opposite direction of the coil of wire. So I'm going to get it all set up here and let's see if it actually works. Alright, so I got it all set up. Let's see how much I'm going to plug it in. Alright, I'm going to plug it in in 3, 2, 1. Okay, wow, so it worked great the first time. I should probably adjust the spark gap to where I have a little bit more power, but wow, I'm actually kind of surprised with the results of that. Alright, so the first test went really well, so that means we're going to have to step it up a little bit. So you can see I added three more cans and I've also increased the distance in the spark gap to allow more power um, before it discharges. So here we go. Plugging in in three. Two, one. All right, so that last test also went really well. And as you can see now, I have a little red tomato hooked up. And I just want to see what's going to happen if we discharge all of that energy through such a small fruit that contains a lot of water. So it should be very conductive and we should have some very exciting results. All right, plugging in in three, two, one. Okay, so honestly, that one surprised me quite a bit. I did not think it was gonna be as loud or disintegrate the tomato as much. This is all that's left of it. It's a little bit of juice here. Um, so I'm gonna try another fruit, possibly a little bit bigger, and see if we get the same results. All right, so the next fruit we're gonna try is a strawberry. Um, I'm not sure what this one's gonna work because they don't have as much water in them as a tomato does, but uh, let's still hope it goes boom and I'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and three, Two, one, here we go. All right, so that strawberry syrup is a great air freshener as it really smells like strawberries in here. You can see there's just bits and pieces everywhere and some has actually made it all the way to the other side of the garage. I'm not sure you can see it there, right there on the breaker panel. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I kind of really figure out what to do with this capacitor. If you have any ideas, I was thinking maybe like a railgun. If that's something y'all want to see, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Um, definitely leave a comment and tell me what you think I should use with this capacitor for. Anyways, y'all have a good one and thank you for watching.